Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and today we're going to go over some Dokon news, and we have a whole bunch of information to actually go over. So, um, let's go ahead and start off. First off, it looks like Bandai is going to be going and reopening the LR ticket banner for the LR Go on another chance. Uh, because of the accept all thing that's going on where we were losing out on uh, tickets, they are going to give us 10 additional tickets. Kind of wish they gave us a little bit more than that. I mean, there's a lot of us, and as you, if you've watched my videos, I did a lot of freaking summons, and I ended up getting like 32 of those Warrior Mark medals for the Dokken Awakenings of the special characters for Battlefield. But... Uh, it's good for everyone who didn't put a lot of money into it because your guys are getting 10 additional gold tickets. It's going to be really awesome. Um, we get one more summon, one more chance to go up against that LR Gohan. Uh, as you can see here from the Reddit post, let's go ahead. This is from the in-game news, so it looks like we're going to be getting it at some point soon. We, I don't know exactly what the date is. They didn't actually put a date on here, but uh, hopefully we get that soon. And then, you know, we'll hopefully good luck to everyone to pull him. I hope you guys get him. Uh, next one is J Japan, a login bonus count on the 20 million downloads worldwide celebration. Um, this is both for JP and global. Uh, I'm assuming each version got up to 200 million downloads, uh, 200, yeah, 200 million downloads. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, we have all the information to the JP side over here. I, I'm not translating this, but we could, uh, I should probably just go over here and put that in English. Uh, yeah, so 200 million download campaign and we're getting a whole bunch of stones. So both versions are getting this, which is awesome. So make sure you guys log in. Starts today, 721. And just log in every single day and make sure you collect those dragon stones. You know, good luck on any of your pulls if you're gonna be pulling or if you're saving them. You know, good luck for whatever banner you want to pull on. Me personally, I'm going for that uh, physical Cora. Anyway, so now let's jump into the well, this is kind of world tournament ori oriented. The next couple posts we're gonna talk about is world tour uh, world, world ugh, I can't even speak right now. World tournament oriented. So for anyone farming Zenny for LR Broly, I believe I mentioned this a couple videos ago, uh, you could sell the Goku cards from the Other World Tournament event for a 1 million Zenny apiece. They drop Z Awaken when you farm them on Z Hard. I did a couple of them this morning. I farmed up all those medals. I got everything taken care of, thankfully. I did all my grinding for the GT events and the uh, Paikuhan and Goku medals. But essentially, I'm all set. And once the World Tournament ends, I'm farming the four times uh, experience because I haven't even started that yet. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you could sell those Z-Awaken Gokus. I mean, if you want to get him to Super Attack 10, do that, then Z-Awaken him, or Do Doken Awaken him to get him uh, Super Saiyan. But um, sell those Intelligence Gokus for Zenny, they will help you get a lot of money. All right, next one is uh, the Laughing Man has updated the Doken stats page, and he in being, uh, put in the World Tournament GSSR and Dragon Ball Saga uh, summon stats. So now we can actually jump into there, and we can see what's actually being pulled and what, are the, what the rates are. It's pretty awesome. Go ahead, check that out. Uh, it's dbcdokenstats.com. I believe I have it in the um, in my uh, description down below. So that way you guys always have a link for there. Uh, next one is going to be a world tournament analysis. Uh, how much total time would I need to complete the world time tournament for each rank of prize? I'm not going to go everything here, guys. I just want to talk about all mission rewards. So all mission rewards, you're going to have to do theoretically about 30 runs. If you're not running an LR Broly team, it could take you up to 12 hours total time. And 12 hours over five days, well, that seems a lot. That's about, what, a little bit over two hours a day. So it, it, it's not, I know it's, it's a pain in the butt, but a little bit over two hours a day, if you are remotely playing this game a little bit more often, you're prob you probably can get this taken higher. And this is assuming 24 minutes per run if you ha don't have an optimal team. I mean, that drops from, what, 12 hours down to 8 hours if you're running a decent team. And if you have an AoE like LR Broly or any other AoE, that drops down to almost 4 hours depending on how quick it takes you. That's about 8 minutes per run total. I know me personally with an LR Broly team, I'm usually doing it in about 8, eight to 10 minutes. So about 4 to 4 and a half hours it sounds about right for all mission rewards. Uh, and personally, I think the best ranking you can get without going too overboard is the top 5,000, which can be, that's pretty much anywhere between 10 hours to 30 hours of gameplay. So that's actually where I want to end up in the World Tournament as a top 5,000. So keep that in mind. If you guys don't have a, um, a, an optimal team, these numbers aren't perfect, but they give you an accurate uh, estimation as to how long it's going to take you of in-game play time so you know exactly how much time you could devote to playing. Now that doesn't take, I'm pretty sure that doesn't take into consideration uh, the load times and friend searching and stuff like that. So that's just straight playthrough from the start of the tournament to the end of the tournament. So it might be a little bit longer. Uh, the next one is, uh, remember to change every single team deck in your world tournament to prevent, to prevent accidentally taking the wrong team. Uh, I know I had a couple comments on Facebook about this. I had one or two comments in my YouTube uh, comment section about that. And uh, I mean, I've, I've experienced this in the past. I told all my friends at work, my coworkers, that 
they should make sure that every single one of their teams is set to the world tournament team just in case it likes to revert back. So essentially what happens is if you bring your world tournament team, at least this is, this is the way I've seen it happen, if you're taking a world tournament team and then you go and you farm another event and you bring a different team outside of your world tournament, you finish the world tournament, whatever team you used outside of the world tournament, it's going to revert to that team. So make sure you just change all of them or just make sure you use your world tournament team on every single time you go outside of the world tournament. Uh, that way it won't change over for you. But just to play it safe, make sure every single one of your team slots is your world tournament team. That way that that doesn't happen to you. Because if you bring a team that isn't optimal for the world tournament and you end up dying, you're just, you're, you're just screwed. You're going to have to start all over. I mean, you're not really screwed, but you just have to start all over if you get the damage multiplier, um, the consecutive win multiplier. So make sure you do that uh, just to make sure you get the most optimal points. So that way you don't die in the world tournament. Um, oh, okay. Now this one I wanted to talk about. Now, I never tried this myself. I have my Broly at Super Attack 10, but I never put and the OG Broly at Super Attack 10. And I never put any Strength Orbs into him. Now, I have a couple dupes, but I haven't fed into him. But apparently, um, according to this post right here, if you have the OG Broly and you throw him onto an Omega Shenron team and you have at least one bottom right dupe path unlocked with all 10 uh, Super Attack, uh, so that's essentially the full base dupe system and the bottom right dupe system, which makes sense. Um, between his crits and the increase with the Omega Shenron lead, he can actually run on the 20 time multiplier without a problem, knock everyone out, including the agility. Now, I haven't tested this myself. If you guys have or are running this team, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I Again, I haven't tested it. I'm not going to put any orbs into the OG Broly because I have the LR Broly now. Um, he's a cool unit to have unless they unless all the OG ones get like a different Doken Awakening. I could see Bandai doing something like giving all the original OGs key plus 4, then attack plus 5,000, or key plus 3, attack plus like 15,000 for, for just a stat boost. Uh, maybe in the future, at some point in the future. But... Uh, that's, a, that's a different video, different type of video if I ever do that in the future. Uh, just so you know, if you do have the OG Broly and you only have one of them, if you, after you get your five times, you might want to try and do that if you have a reversal and some extra orbs to, to spare. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be optimal for you, but if you really want to be a World Tournament player and you don't have a lot of stones to put into uh, the LR banner to pull that LR Broly or you don't have any other AoE or any nuking tactics, that might actually go, be a good way to, for you guys to go. It's a lot more practical to do that and have an LR Broly or have the perfect synergy between uh, an AO, a nuker leader and an AoE that, that corresponds with that nuking leader. Oh man, sorry guys, <laughs> a lot of news here. Uh, and this one, I'm gonna do a completely separate in-depth video on this once we get more information about it. Uh, I did wanna state it though in this PSA, there is a new mechanic coming soon from the on the JP version. Now, I, I was waiting for them to do something like this. I, I'm hoping at some point to do something with the items. Uh, my, my hopes was that they were gonna create uh, items that you attach to a person. That way you increase some type of stat on them. Increase attack, increase HP, increase the damage, increase the rate for like crits to go off or something like that, but they haven't done that yet. Um, so this category itself, every character is going to get their own individual category, or at least they should be getting their own individual category. They might just do with SSRs or higher. Um, but essentially, for this is an example, um, the SSR Palma is going to have a category called Peachy Peachy Girl. So if you bring characters with this category, uh, the rate of Platinum Turtle Shells to drop in addition to drop from the Master Roshi event will increase. So uh, whatever event you're running, if it's a specific item drop event or if you're farming for XP, whatever cards have this category is going to increase a drop rate. Um, this probably is also going to do some other additional things like um, if you have a couple characters on this team, your attack might be boosted or something like that. So. Creating this allows you to have a better dynamic of characters, and it brings into play all of the old SSRs that we no longer use in-game because now they're going to be more relevant because they are going to have these different categories. Now, I'm assuming the Saiyans are probably going to have their all of their own same ones. They're probably going to buff up all already oh, the awesome, crazy, good players in the game. Uh, we're going to have to wait for more information in the future. Uh, let me just go over here. Um, I don't have the translation for this, but as you see over here, look at this. Uh, I believe this is a, a snapshot of what's, gonna, of what's to come. Uh, so you guys see all the female players over here and they all have the little blue aura. I'm not sure if yeah That looks like it was a part of in-game So all of them are female characters and they all have that I guess they all share that one category So it looks like if you see over here The hundred and ten percent so it increases I'm assuming just by ten percent and it will give you an increase of ten percent of whatever character drop so that's coming soon. When we get that mechanic, it says it's supposed to drop uh, possibly on uh, July 25th at 1600, which is 4 o'clock Japan time. Uh, when that information comes out, when more information comes out about that, I will be doing a full video. That's freaking pretty sick. I like that. That's awesome. 
But anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, that's all the news. I'm actually just finished, like I said before earlier in the video, I just finished doing all of my uh, grinding for the GT medals. I just want those Elder Kai's and the Awakening medals, the Silver Awakening medals, because I've run really low on them. So I got those, and I got the uh, the Elder Kai's, um, and I did all my Pai Coupon medals and my Goku medals. Now I just need to get, like, four more of the Z-Awakened Gokus to get Z-Awakened so I can fill in the paths just in case he gets a Doken Awakening in the future. Figured I'd do that now. Um, so, but I'll do that all after the World Tournament. I finally get to start my World Tournament grind. Stay tuned. Uh, later on today, I'm going to be doing my Rose Lead video with the World Tournament, taking him with all the extreme AoEs on the lower difficulty levels. I'm probably just going to do one run through of the entire thing on like 7.5 or whatever the, the lower to mid tier difficulty uh, ratings are. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Hope you guys enjoy that information. Stay hyped. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.